Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Oinda Mulalao. If you're an OG on this channel, you probably have seen this video before. And if you're a newbie, welcome to my channel. Subscribe. Okay, so winter is coming and I'm here to help you. I'm here to help you because I don't need you running helter skelter like this person in the video. Mm. So what am I doing today? Telling you tips you will need for winter so the first thing to note is to start shopping for full stuff during winter not just pepper like you see me doing in this video but every other food stuff that you need during winter and you're stocking up because you can't be going out back and forth so when you are buying stuff buy pepe and i bought pepe at this time because they actually do sales they do sales close to winter time and then you buy your pepe make sure to buy beef make sure you buy proteins everything that you would need during winter buy it on ground and store them in ziploc in the freezer So the second thing that you should note as part of your winter starter packs is that you should bring out your winter jackets. You can see that I'm bringing out my own from the cattle. In fact, it's even the second thing. It's like the first thing that should be on your mind. Because like today now, we are already enter zero degrees. So you bring out your winter jacket from where you kept it. We pack all our own inside carton because throughout summer we do not use it. So we are bringing them out. You wash them so it doesn't start smelling and your shoes and all of those things and like for my son we didn't shop for winter for him previously because he was wearing snow suits it was still small then but right now we had to shop for him for winter so if you've not done any shopping for your family members you will do that one and make sure that everything they need for winter thermal wears winter jacket winter boots everything cap is needed you buy them all the caps these ones are not so old but you need them and please for kids i think you should shop for correct things for winter because at least they they can't really complain that they are cold it's we adults that we can say oh we are cold and we don't know whether the winter boot is doing so much or not and to the winter jacket so the trick is buy winter jacket that would last when we came we bought our own from value village it's like a thrift store and they were really nice winter jacket i think we bought one maybe for like 30 something dollars it's second hand so it's not like the new one and it's really very good look at this one now like it's so thick so it's for my husband and it's really thick so all your winter jackets just bring them out and wash them so that at least by the time you start wearing them they will not be smelling and you know that you are ready for winter so another thing you should consider doing when winter is coming hmm, is to go and shop for all this medication especially for your child and for yourself so for kids eh, during winter tile will not get very very scarce and you will not find it so it's best that before winter starts, go and buy your children's style, you know. In fact, adult style, you know, too. Adult style, you know, gets cast. There's style, you know, for cold. And then there's style, you know, for normal headache and body pain. So try to get all of these things. And for kids also, you have this, they are running nose medications. Try to get all of that. Try to get multivitamins for kids, multivitamins for adults. Because this cold is coming and you need to really be equipped before the cold comes also if you would like to take flu shots it's best that you take the flu shot before the cold starts and i think they start giving flu shots like mid october so walk into any of these stores shoppers drug mart any store that they actually sell medication or pharmacy walmart also you can get across to them they'll give you flu shots you can also take flu shots for your kids i'm sure that you can take flu shots from kids from I think like six months because when my child was six months that was when they asked us to give him flu shots and also I took I took last year I took flu shots my my husband didn't take some people don't like it but I took flu shots my son also took flu shots so take flu shots buy all the medications and I've even heard of some about stuff that actually works my friend told me of 
onion, putting onion in socks when you have kata and all of those things. Try to just get every antibiotics, every medication. In Canada, you can't buy antibiotics over the counter. So just try to get any home remedy medications that you can get, anything that would work for this cold have it handy and also i think you should have your emergency kit at hand because inside this cold it's not like it's that bad but in in calgary in alberta we have it as as bad as like minus 30 degrees so make sure that all these emergency things you have it on ground so you don't start running around when something happens in your house i mean like spirits cutting wool and anything so that in case there's any injury you are sure that you have something to combat it at home. So try to get all your medications, especially for kids. Emphasis on especially for kids. Because the kids are going to daycare and coming back home. They already would contract these diseases. God will protect our children, right? But then, try to just get all these things at hand so that you don't start running elta skelta. Do you get? So another thing that you can get as part of your winter supply is that you should get tea, pepper soup, all these things that you know will make your home stay very okay and will avoid cold for you, especially if you work from home. <laughs> so if you work from home, you need all this tea to make yourself warm and also pepper soup because when it's cold, you really want to bring out all the heat in your body. And pepper soup because when you have flu, you can always take pepper soup, keeps you warm and tries to remove all of the blockages from your nose so try to buy pepper soup ingredients try to buy all your tea or chocolate all of these things because you cannot be spending money everywhere in Timotins. you can make these things by yourself at home so another winter supply i think you will need in fact this one is not really like a winter supply but you actually need it more during winter is your eater and your humidifier so either in the sense that if your house is not so warm and maybe like you stay in a basement we stay in a basement actually and our basement is not all that cold but then you still want to have this smaller heater handy in case the house is not as warm as you think it should be you can always use your extra heater this is what our heater looks like so it eats up the room you can buy this anywhere in any store you can get this on amazon you can get this in walmart you can get it even on facebook marketplace it's even more cheaper on facebook marketplace so you can always buy your eater there and that will keep you extra warm you're sure that you have something that heats up the house extra and keeps you warm also you have humidifier this humidifier is to make this your dry weather moist because Canada has a very, very dry weather. Like their weather is dry and the weather makes you have all these blockages in your nose that brings out blood, really. Sometimes when I blow my nose, I see that I blow it very hard and blood comes out. And this is because of the dry weather. So in order to avoid this, especially for kids, Try to buy humidifier. This humidifier makes your house a little bit moist, such that you know that you don't have all of the dry weather in the house. Please buy this humidifier. You can find them on Facebook Marketplace. That, that's like the cheapest place where you can find them. Be sure to check what you're buying before you buy them. You can also find it on Amazon. We bought ours on Amazon. You can buy it in Walmart, in any store that you like. So try to buy all of these things let me show you what a humidifier looks like and you can check it online do you get this is what our humidifier looks like you can put this in your room you can put this everywhere in your house just to make sure that your house is humid enough and you don't have all of these blockages in your nose just to keep the house really humid another thing you should note hmm, is that you should check your cars and while you're checking your cars what are you checking for because <laughs> you don't want your cars to get stuck inside the snow. You don't want to be stuck in the snow and your car is already stopped. So you need to be sure that you have winter tires. Yes, there are winter tires and there are the normal tires. The normal tires are like all season tires. So try to change your all season tire or your normal tires to winter tires. Because the grip of winter tire is different from all season or 
normal tires although if you have all season tires you can actually also use it for winter but at some point you won't be able to use it again for us when we bought our car we had all season tires so for our first winter we actually didn't change it we we're able to use our all season tire for the first year and it still has a little bit of grip but right now we are considering changing our all season tire to a winter tire so that we are sure that our tires are okay we are sure that our car is okay to pass through any winter whatever whatever snow and also you should check your car to be sure that your heater in the car is working the cold is not something small and it's not a joke so you don't want to be in your car especially if you have a kid and your car doesn't have a heater because you will go around and coming back home in fact just going outside to drop something i remember that it was like minus 20 something at that time and i just wanted to throw something in the dustbin and my hands were freezing like from my front door to the dustbin it's like back and forth should not take me one minute and coming back i was freezing like my hands were really freezing so imagine you are in that kind of cold for 30 something degrees and you're inside your car from point a to point b you want to be sure that your heater is working and is working well so make sure you check your car and also have all of the emergency equipment in your car that can jump start your car because sometimes your car might actually not come on it has happened to us before that our battery actually went flat which reminds me if you're parking your car outside like we do we don't have a basement parking or a heated parking space we park on the street so make sure that you're plugging your car to a to an electric socket to be sure that i don't know what they call it but you are plugging your car we do that every single night inside the cold make sure you plug your car such that your car is sure to be in a charging point i don't know what they call it but you plug your car and be sure that your char your car is okay that way it heats up your battery and your battery doesn't go flat when you're about to put on your car in the morning it has happened to us we didn't know that when we first came and we didn't plug our car and we parked it outside in how many degrees our car did not come on we had to change the whole battery so that can happen especially if you are parking outside so try to make sure that your car is connected to a source and be sure that even when it's connected you are sure that it's plugged so you can have your car running the next day also if you are maybe parking outside somewhere when you go to work be sure that you have this jump starter such that if your car doesn't answer you when you're starting it you can jump start the car and you don't have to stay there and be looking for how to get home Please, all of these things are really, really essential if you want to live inside this cold. We have to survive. So if you want to live in this cold, get all of these things. They are very essential for you to live in Canada, at least in Alberta. Now, the last thing I would like to say is that every other thing that you need, that you know in your heart of hearts, that ah, I will need this thing, you know, because I really, really don't need to be going out back and forth because what you are trying to avoid during the winter is to stay home as much as possible stay home so buy your things in bulk i'm the kind of person that i don't like to tie down money but in this winter buy your things in bulk such that you don't go out as often as possible you will still need to go out but don't make it like a regular thing you do to avoid all of this cold especially if you have kids so you want to stay home so get all your supplies all your toilet tissues because i heard that tissues are always very scarce also during winter buy those things in bulk buy those things in bulk things you know that you need on a regular buy them in bulk i know you can't really buy groceries in bulk because you still need to go back and forth the ones that are perishable so you can still go back and forth but even if you shop before like maybe every now and then try to stock up like say i'm not going to be shopping this week i'll shop this week and next week together that kind of thing also just get everything you need in the house stay warm try to be sure that everything you need for your children especially also is in the house and i know that we'll be fine we've gone through this once this is not our first time at least for me and some people have been here for a very long time so while i've been through this thing it's not going to eat us big by the special grace of god we will not have anything that will eat us so seriously in jesus name 
amen so thank you so much for watching this video please and please and please if you are in canada if you are in calgary if you are in alberta and you have any other supplies you need or you know that people should get please leave it down in the comment section help somebody like me help somebody that is new or experiencing their first winter for the first time drop those other things you think we will need in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video I hope that I have helped somebody today. Yes, Mr. I know I've helped. So thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to share, don't forget to subscribe. Subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.